<sighs> kind of look like I need to get a haircut. All right, let's just be real. All right, so it's a very sunny day outside, but what that also means, if you guys can look at these trees, is very windy. And usually when the sun is out like this, it means the wind is out. So what's gonna happen is we are going to basically run from here down to the ocean and the back up. We'll probably only do the six miler and then we'll come up and do a couple intervals, basically the rower and the ski erg. And I was supposed to bike today, but when the wind's this bad, it's really, really difficult. My calves are still really blown out from doing all the speed work but I'm gonna suck it up because we have no races coming up anytime soon, so it doesn't matter if we're all flat. But uh, this is my boy Chase, he's now part of the squad. And uh, I'm gonna bring this GoPro with me, see if we can get some good footage of it. All right, we're currently running down this mountain in Malibu, six miles down and 1,900 feet of climbing in total. It's not that bad, but I haven't done this in a while. I've been kind of keeping off the trails to focus on the end of the year and working with this new coach so let's see if this extra rest has been helping out all right last little bit before we end up down at the base you know we're holding about 6 30 miles at a slight downhill chase is back there holding pretty strong you can see the valley it's looking good my legs feel beat up definitely from all the intensity that I've been doing, but oddly enough, energy's there. So that's what you really want to look at. It's like, you can have muscular damage, but if your energy systems are just whacked, you may have trained too hard. And that's not really being a good hybrid athlete. If your nervous system shot from a weightlifting session or you're just dead from too big of an oxidative session. And uh, hopefully you balance it out properly. And, you know, you can keep on cruising week after week. Woo! All right, currently climbing up this big ass hill. Uh, my ego about this run has diminished massively since we talked last. My legs are totally screwed from those lunges and uh, 200 meter runs. So we got a little bit of work. We're way up past that tower. Then we hit a little bit of gym intervals at a very aerobic level. So I'll see you guys inside the gym. All right. I'm feeling like shit. Darn it, I swore again. I'm feeling like total doo-doo after that mountain run. And the lunges just chew you up, man. But trust me, these thighs are pistons, dude. They are just these big old sexy pale pike, huh? They're gonna wrap you up and tear your heart out of your chest because you boys ain't ready for any season. You're not supposed to rat on dudes having day burns. This is the trick of the trade. That's the guy who ratted us out, the guy in the white. Two's a total bitch. We're out here cooking hot dogs. Joke's on him. Fire department should be coming around anytime second. And we're going to feed him these dogs because you know the fire department gets hungry. I mean, I'm just a good honest Christian man working on his yard eating hot dogs. Hey, watch this. Oh, 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 oh! We just lost two dogs. I mean, this is good honest labor. What'd you say? Oh. You see the woman in the white car? Yeah, she looks weird. She narked on us. We just kept on looking. She had a rat face. And I had cramp in my finger. We gotta get some mountain justice for that rat woman. Once a narc, always a narc. We're gonna have to take her out. Shh, shh. We're making hot dogs. They're not coming to us, are they? Did they stopped? Yeah, they're gonna. Fuck. We were making hot dogs. We'll probably start our hot dogs. Damn fire department boys trying to give us a hard time.
last time we didn't have the hot dogs here and they're like you could have this fire going if it was a cooking fire guess what always keep hot dogs in your fridge everything's a cooking fire I mean, anybody who's got like half a brain cell knows that the ground is so soaking wet, nothing can catch on fire. All right, what's up guys? It is early here in the McIntyre household. I got a flight to catch in two hours. Well, I'm getting picked up in two hours. And oh, luckily that doesn't smell too bad. We're gonna take some of the hydration that I had from last night. Dump in a bunch of pre-workout and strength X2. Ooh. So today is a super heavy lifting day and I'm really pumped about it. Like I'm going for four rep chin and five rep bench. You know, I've been pretty freaking strong lately, but my pro my coach definitely programmed me up pretty high on these numbers. And I told him, I was like, I'm not hitting any of those numbers. But we at least got a high water mark. So I want to beat last week. I want to have some pretty heavy ass numbers. And then I'm going to absolutely blast it with my weight vest on. And from there, we get on a plane. We go to Texas for our boar Kyle. We smash a hundo, and then we're gonna be right back here. And then, after that, I get on another plane and I go straight to Wadapalooza. Life is crazy, guys. It's absolutely crazy. But it's one of these kind of things where if you guys have these morning missions where you gotta go to the airport, you better smash it in the gym before you get on that plane. Because you know when you're sitting there in the chair and it's way too tiny and your muscles are just overflowing onto the weak people next to you, you feel great. Yeah, so. I like getting on the plane and walking all rigid like a robot because my body's just so damn muscular. Yeah, so that's my goal. These ass cheeks, I mean, look at them, dude. They, they, I can't even turn in the airplane. I just smash into people as I go. It's pretty naughty. <laughs> God bless us. Hello, Moto. Yeah, this is the first time I've uh, done a heavy chin up since I hurt my back back in, um, in October. So, let's see, 70 pounds. Oh, the gas is in the sky, I freaking love this song. Yeah. 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 Easy, freaking easy. Yeah. No big deal. Have you seen my huge balls? It's uh, 100 pounds now. Let's go, homie! Uh, 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 uh. That's right. The biggest man in the fucking universe. Damn it, I swore again. Hey guys, it's on our own back. I want to talk to you about them. Yo, so I can honestly say that. I am the strongest I've ever been. Even when I was doing CrossFit, that's the strongest I've ever been. And, and I'm freaking fast. It took years. So I actually get a lot of kids that are like 17 shooting me DMs saying, hey man, like what advice do you have? So this is maybe for you guys. I used to watch YouTube videos of people just like myself and say, that's what he did. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm twice as old as you. I'm 34 years old, which sucks saying that out loud because I don't feel like it. I feel like I'm still 17. You know, honestly, like it's better for you to do less and do it more often than to try to do what I do or anybody else does because you're probably going to watch this video and then you're going to watch somebody else that inspires you and they're going to watch somebody else that inspires you. If you could get away with just two really epic workouts a week and then the rest of it pretend like you know you're just walking like that's the goal if you can have two epic gym sessions a week or two epic run sessions a week you're gonna be golden because over a year that adds up to about a hundred workouts give or take whether or tight you not you take some time off and like the the theory of like the ten thousand hour rule you know i've been doing this for 10 years so 
over that. It's like my 13th, 14th year. So we're looking at really like, you know, a thousand super, super high end sessions and each of them being a couple hours long each. So it, it gets there. And I'm talking about super quality and the rest of the hours, the idea is that you're just being smart. You're not messing up. And most people do mess up. They get hurt. Like I was training here and I, this is the first time I've done weighted pull-ups in a really long time because I was doing too much. I wanted to set the Murph world record again. And I was like, I'm going to do more. I'm going to do more. I'm going to do more. And it was one of these stupid weight vests in my ego. And I popped my lat out and I can still feel it. It's right there at the insertion of the armpit and the lat. And it bangs you up. And I was going too hard. I was going for three hard, four hard sessions a week. And I was like, I'm the best guy in the world. I can do whatever I want. Crushed. So, God, I hope you guys watching this video don't be like, shut up, Hunter. I can do whatever I want. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right? You guys are really tough. You're already taking the first and most important step, which is actually doing your research. So, heed my warning, man. Just keep training hard. And uh, hopefully you guys are beating me by the time you're my age or even, even younger than that. Next set. Hello! Uh, I gotta find a better way to get this angle. Is this better? It's pretty deep. It's pretty deep. Damn it. <sighs> Fuck you, you fucking dick. I'm not supposed to be swearing, darn it. Yeah, bitch! Dang it, I swore again. Ha! I'm such a potty mouth. All right, quick set. Get her done, and we're on to the walk. Show you, little bitch. Ugh. 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 Oh, you bitch. Ugh. Let's go. All right, that's the heaviest one to date, especially with where we're at right now. Oh, it's tough. It's gonna be a gnarly session ahead of me. I'm sure my tits are gonna get absolutely wrecked. This is where basically I have to warm myself up on this treadmill and get ready to blast through. I gotta jump right in the shower, take a mask gainer, and get to Texas. I'm gonna be sweating like a pig on that flight. All right, let's do this thing. All right, race pace, treadmill intervals, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Big out, big out. 10, fuck you. You little bitch. What's here, you in hell? All right, way to push up. Ah, 20 on, 15 on. Ah. something about it. I 
back to the treadmill. Faster this time. Hey, quit fucking with me. Now all you can see is that pipe. Oh, it's best I'll do it for you. It's a dog fight. I'm totally fucked. I hate these AirPods. Fuck. Yes, I swear. Really hard. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am in Texas. This is Kyle's house. It's incredibly nice. It's not his taste. His wife is obviously interior decorator she's incredibly talented and now this is kyle's house this is what he interior decorated now let's just get this once and for all you get this shot and then i get shot closest person doesn't have to shotgun a beer done let's go all right guys you see a little baby cauldron in the back this it's called a target yep Sick. let's go let's go oh Ooh! let us bring it to me bring it to me bring it to your dad drop drop it all right here we go this is gonna be it, dude. I'm gonna fuck you up right now. Kyle drinking beer for his birthday. Sober January for Hunter. <laughs> oh God! I third time, third time, third time, third time, third time. Fuck, oh. Lennis, bring it to me! Oh God, I don't, I don't want to drink. Perfect, like a glove. Lennis. Oh God, Lenny, you gotta get out of here. You want me to hold it so you're not oh, yeah, distracted? Yeah, you you distract me. I got you behind. I got, dude. It's a moving target. It's a moving target. All right, let us settle. Let us settle. It's basically ready for me, Lennis. I don't have the opportunity to drink right now. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Lennis. God dang it! Drink up! Dang it, dude. Come on! <laughs> Alright, fine. Help yourself, boy. Dude, that lasted all of like two days, this dry January thing. But I'm not the kind of guy who'll quit. I mean, honestly, here's the reality. Surprise <sighs> for pussies. Alright. 
Ooh, tiki wheat. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Let's do this. It's nothing to do with drinking. It has everything to do with standing up for the fact that I lost the bat. All right, you got something sharp in there? Here, let me film it. Whatever you want, dude. Up, up, point it up so you don't lose any beer. Well, up like that? Yeah, there you go. So you get the little air pocket. That was nice right there. I'm thinking I can get this thing down in like in about two. Ready? Yeah, go. One, two, two three. One, two, three. <laughs> Bone dry. Wow. You like that, dude? That was cold. I meant that was cold. <laughs> <laughs> Lunas, God dang, you smoked me, dude. <laughs> but. All right. 3 a.m. check in. We didn't sleep at all. Kyle's house, even though it looks really good, it's freezing cold. So Kyle's out here. There's also just like gangs that live all around Houston. Kyle's out here in his ice tub. Did you, Kyle, did you know that your entire neighborhood is just full of gangs? Gangs? There's just like gunshots and weird shit going off around here. This is the scariest gang of all, right here at 304 Archer Street, baby. The <laughs> coke. The coconuts gang? Don't mess with the Greeks. The gang, baby. Kikogi. Damn, dude. All I can taste is black and miles. I gotta stop smoking black and miles. It's effing my life up, dude. It's kind of like a trend I'm trying to pick up. I'm trying to start it back up again if you guys want to join me, but it definitely makes your mouth taste like butt. But it's cool. It's way cool. Join my Facebook group. All right, early morning check-in. We're greasing up Cal's toes. Nice. <laughs> Here, get the back. Yeah, get them. Right yeah. on the hooves. Yeah, get them teeth. Get them hooves, baby. Come on, Parker, get them. Nice. You get both feet? Yeah. Nice. Essential, essential to success. You got the whole pit area. Pop of coconuts just came in. Pop of coconuts. Alright, right 3-0, gotta be under 3-0 hours. 8-30, 30 Let's go Kyle. Oh, Kyle's 30th birthday. Oh, Let's go. 100 miles. 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Let's go Kyle. 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 let us go let us go let us go let us go I'm here to party with a pony. Dinna, 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 hey, big pony. <laughs> you got a big butt pony. This pony don't like me, but this one do. <laughs> All right, peeps. We'll cruise together. Kyle is killing it. Just took a 15-minute poop. Super cool. We are currently, Kyle, what, what are you at? Mile 42? Yeah, just 45. 44.8. Killing it. I'm gonna take some uh, citrulline, some beta alanine. What do you want? That's sure. a good, that's good. Right. Won't stop, won't stop. Mm. Um, I just crewed Kyle through a good loop. And now I'm gonna try to go out there and get me some business in, keep my my uh, cardio up on that on this mission and then I'm gonna probably take a like a dirty bath in the river something I don't want to be this sticky I'm wondering what I can clean up all right guys I'm checking in we are currently wow Kyle's got a big crack on his window shield 5 30 at night and Kyle is about 60 miles in and he just picked up this second big like swing of energy I think he was drinking not enough water. He was taking in a ton of builder and he's been cranking like two to three scoops a lap. Um, so, you know, he's really been going after it, but I don't think he's drinking up the water. So when we were running, he crashed out. He was feeling really low. And then we super hydrated him. We just kept on cranking water into him. And for the past three laps, like he's been crushing. So much so that he started to drop down to like the eights. And when he was running with me, he was running in like the 11s. So he's way up. It's just about to get dark. If you look out there, that's the sunset. Uh, I'm warming up. I ended up getting 14 miles myself and I was running about 
720, 740 pace. I was just trying to lay, lay down some really easy miles. That's the most running that I've done in a really long time. You know, I did backpacking. I backpacked, you know, 20 miles last weekend, but that's obviously not running. So um, that was my first long run in a really long time. I don't go on long runs. I'm just being honest. I, don't, I hate them. So that felt interesting. My legs are kind of dumpy, but I'm cranking some hydro and some strength X2 right now. I'm going to chill out. All the guys are kind of just running around and I'm just going to kick back. I think, you know, for me, I was up all last weekend for New Year's Eve out in the woods. And it's probably going to be another night like that tonight. So I'm just going to lay low for a bit. And once the dark comes, I'm going to have to be prepared because that's hopefully when Kyle sucks it up, really gets the work done and crushes. So we're going to try to get him. He's got six laps left and he's averaging about an hour a lap. We're looking at about a 2 a.m. finish and I guess 225 is going to finish. So I might be right on the dot. All right, guys, trail update with Kyle. Kyle, what are you doing? I'm wiping an ungodly amount of body glide, shit, piss. Sorry. All the above. I'm a, I, let me let me start that over. Say yeah. it again. What's going on, Kyle? Dude. Why don't you tell us <laughs> in the most Christian manner possible? Ugh. I am wiping a lot right. of Sweet unnameables stuff. off of my God-given parts. Yeah. Give us the best story of the race so far. Uh, like literally two minutes ago. Yeah, what happened? I told Parker I'm, I'm gonna have to stop at the bathroom. And then in about 10 seconds, I was like, never mind, I'm going right now. And I just threw my pants down and boom, just smoked the trail. And I looked up at him and I was like, do you have any wipes? He said, no. And then I said, uh, oh, hey, it's hot. Hey, it's hot, watch out. Oh no. <laughs> uh, fuck. Hey, hey, while it's in we there, started it long then, what? I said, Parker looked at his gloves and said, well, here you go. <laughs> so I took two of his gloves straight to my bunghole. I'm gonna put them back on. <laughs> nice. Clean that sucker up. So what Parker, lap are you at? Um, you got something. You got we're 63 miles in. Nice, good rockets. So you got five, I'm in, you I'm got in 11, to go? I'm in 11th place right now. Um, I was just told that. Sick. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm so hurting pretty bad because I didn't stop there on that other lap and I fell pretty hard on a roof. I'll let get this lap myself. And I busted my knee pretty good. But, okay. I'm rolling uh, with the momentum. You want some hot this? coffee? Yeah. Love some. I'll hold it. With sugar in it? Mm -mm. No sugar. The sugar's what's messing me up, dude. I can no more. Sugar is messing me up. Have some of this teriyaki. It'll soak up everything in your stomach. Five hours later. For the 100 mile documentary, how you feeling, Chief? That was a good one. Mm. Let's, get a little, let's get some details. I'm People beat up know. right now. Yeah? I'm beat up. Hey, why don't I'm you sync up, no, no, no. no, okay. up these headphones? Sync up these headphones to his, uh, his Apple. There you go. Hold the button. Hold the button on the back. Got it? Cool. All right, you're synced up. Here's now, Chiefy. All right, give the people some uh, words of faith. What have you learned on this journey? What do you want your children to know, your children's children? It's a one and done for me. Yeah? Never going to touch 100 again? No. How do you feel about the course? The course is... I mean, I understand they had to improvise, but redundant. this thing sucks. Okay. How do you feel about your grundle? Um, I'm worried it's not going to be there. That's right, dude. <laughs> After these last three loops. Yeah, I'll just invest that now. Is that one in there? You good? Yeah. All right. is, is the grindle feeling? All right, people. Kyle's making his move. Look how fast he's going. Damn, the speed demon's back out on course. What's up, bro? Here we go, brother. Dang. I've never seen such an athlete. Yeah, buddy. Come on, Kyle. All right. Kyle, you're my hero! Come on, Kyle! I got I gotta use the shit. Alright, late night update. We we found some trees. <laughs> found some trees. And uh basically we got a fire over here. And we had to go into the woods. Caleb did everything, so when the fire department comes, 
had nothing to do with this. Look at this huge ass tree, and it's hanging out the back of the truck. Look at this! Oh, boys! Now we got a real fire, guys. I said, he's going to be so amazing. And she goes, yeah, wait. What? Let me fill that up with this. Bro, it's your last lap, man. Just get it done. Chop this beast off. Here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. You don't want to come out there. That's so it's horrible. If you want to come, it'll be an hour and a half walk. It's pretty cold. Can I give you a bunch of layers? You want to do it? Yeah, I'll do it. What do you want? You want this jacket? You want some gloves? Oh, I should be up with this. Look at this. You gotta be warm, dude. You gotta be warm out there. Pretty cold. Too. Uh, come on, hey, let's this get this last lap done. Right All right, you got those gloves on? Got Can you need gloves. anything? You got that headlamp? Got the headlamp? Can I get you anything, brother? No, you're good. No ding, boys! <laughs> So Last lap, baby. You're about to get a hundo. Let's go, brother. All this right. is crazy. I'll see y'all. Kyle. Brother, I'm so pumped for you. Get it done. I'm proud of you, brother. Hey, you it on my last lap, okay? Get her done. How important is hydration? Well, first of all, did you guys know that sweat isn't just water? When your sweat comes out, it doesn't come out looking just like this. It actually comes out looking like this. Hydro is full of essential electrolytes that help your body function at the high capacity it needs. So if you guys are just in the gym going over to the water fountain getting a sip of water, you're not doing yourself any favors. So stop wasting your time with water. Get Hydro. Mine's personal goal is to stop swearing. That's some bullshit. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, I'm the best guy in the world. I can do whatever I want. I'm coming for fucking blood, baby. Let's go, you little bitch. You motherfucker. Who designed this fucking workout? What are you gonna do about it, bitch? Fucking punk. You little bitch. I fucking hate you. Fuck you, you fucking dick. Shit, you little bitch. Ah. Do no fucking mercy. Darn it, I swore again. You know, like total doo doo. What up, peeps? Your boy Captain Beef here. I am so cranked up on pre-workout that I'm about to explode. This mixture, lethal, lethal. Am I massive? Of course. Does it work? Duh. Does it hurt? Yeah. Mm. I got a heavy session today. We're back up to super heavyweight. Coach wants me to go up into the highs. About to hit some cleans. I'm not gonna lie, I am beat to shit. I got so swear, I'm beat up after that whole ultra experience. I mean, Kyle obviously ran the 100, but I was there in spirit. I felt like I worked really hard too. So Kyle, why don't you maybe shoot me a text and say thanks a ton. Ah, oh, God, this is heavy. God dang. Maybe I'm weaker than I thought. But today's gonna be special. You guys are gonna get to watch it. I don't want you guys to judge my form because that's not what it's all about. It's all about moving weight. So why don't you shut your face before you judge. Ha! What's up, Gabby? All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. Crank up on the pre-workout at Castle. The sky's about to turn on. Ah. You motherfucker! You fuck with me, bitch. I'll lift you off the ground, rip your goddamn head off. There ah. ah. we go. Piece of cake. He's gay. Yeah. It's no big deal. Sure. It's no big fucking deal. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Oh. Secret. Let's go. Let's go, stick. What you gonna do about it, bitch? What you gonna do? Ah. Make it heavy, dude. Make it fucking heavy. I don't feel this shit, you little bitch. 
Don't like that. Don't like that at all. So I missed that last rep and I Yeah. yeah, so straight up that was a PR and I took off the straps Put chalk on it was a lot easier actually probably should start doing that from now on and I hit three sets 255 Could probably put another 10 pounds on each side forms not great. I'm not an Olympic lifter I'm just a dude throwing some weight around look like those high school kids or college kids doing hang power cleans, but now, I always said it'd be pretty savage to move 315 and bench 315 and then run a sub to uh, sub 10 minute two mile. And I'm definitely there on the two mile. I'm probably about 10 pounds under on the bench. And I'm maybe 20 pounds off on the um, power claim, but I'll get it. It's no big deal. I'm on creatine, baby. Oh, what's up, guys? All right, boys, about to freaking pump the beef right here. Let's see. You guys see my pump and beam arms? All right, yeah. Let's go. No big deal. No big deal. <sighs> Coach wants me hit. <sighs> Five right here. Ugh. <sighs> I'm so fucking drunk. Yeah, baby. Oh. All right, I got three sets there. Oh. No big deal. I'm freaking feeling nice. Hello, Bob it. All right, so this is gonna get pretty crazy. We're gonna see if we can get a good video angle of this, of your boy running. We're gonna back this up a little bit. Ew. What's that? Ew, sweet, dude. Back it up, back it up a little bit more. Right, 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 right. All right, so we're going for record pace right now. 515 mile, 10 seconds rest between, 60 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, four rounds. We're on, let's go! Show no mercy! Try no bitch. Okay. 150 feet per round. That sucked. It's mostly my legs. I'm tired from that 14 mile run. It's starting to hurt. Oh! Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh. Who? Who designed this fucking workout? Ah. Okay. Okay. Ow. You little bitch. Time for you. Do it again. End of the night is a creepy song. Miss you, my love. I know, bitch. What are you gonna fucking do about it? You little fucker. Bitch. Oh yeah, I know, bitch. 
Ta, ta, ta. Oh, oh man. This is gonna be crazy. Oh shit. Ah! Ah! Jesus. All right, three sets of push-ups. We're going again soon. Check in on it. E. That just ain't gonna happen. Let's go. Fucking punk. <clears throat> Oh, God, this is gonna hurt. What are you gonna do about it? You suck it up, you old bitch. Oh, God. Come on. I bet you want to fucking quit. I hate you. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. 45s. Let's go. Ooh. Oh. This is a bitch. This is a big nasty bitch. I hate you. No. Oh. Ha 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 What now? What are you gonna do about it? Oh my god. Oh fuck you. Shit old bitch. Ha oh. That's one set. Done. All right. So I, I bonked. Rightfully so. Uh, I knew that was gonna probably happen after this weekend. Not very much sleep. Being up the whole time for a 24 hour. Strength is really good. What I noticed was my legs were dead well before the workout started to really get up to where it was gonna be intense. So I knew that was gonna to be tough. I was saying that at the beginning of intervals. That interval piece ended up taking me 39 minutes. Holy crap. That's a long chunk of time at above a high rocks pace. Another thing I wanna tell you guys, so this is a Hyperware Vest. It's a cool company, but here's something I'm disappointed in this company for. They gave it to me for free. So what, you give me something for free, I'm gonna give you advice for free. You can't make hardcore training equipment with sh like shitty plastic belt buckles. There may be saving 
themselves maybe a dollar a buckle. And so one, two, three, four pieces. And then you look at all the joints on the thing, maybe 25 cents, if that. Like they're maybe saving themselves five to six dollars. But what ends up happening is, I don't wanna buy this thing again because, or they gave it to me free. I wouldn't suggest somebody else get this thing because I've already broken the buckles twice. And there's companies that do Velcro, like 511 and Brute Force. I like the Hyperware the most as far as the fit goes. But now that I've been training with it for a couple months, it's already broken. And I'm too lazy to go buy another one. I prefer things to work right when I buy them for a long time. 511's never broken down. So shout out to them, uh, Hyperware. Hopefully you watch my videos. Get your shit together. What's up peeps, your boy Hoon back. So I'm testing something out. I watched this on the internet and I've been doing a lot of research into the dark web. And you guys are currently in my refrigerator with me. So I found this out. There's two major like departments that are focused on like poor food quality. And one of them is the honey business. Supposedly people mix in high fructose corn syrup into honey and you guys know that I love honey. Another thing that I like is um, virgin olive oil. So check this out. Supposedly if you take your virgin olive oil and you put it into the fridge and you guys can see this one's not cold yet. I just put them in here. There's three different companies I put in and basically if it doesn't come out really, really cloudy, that means that it's mixed with other oils like cheaper oils like palm oil and things like that. So they say right here, if it doesn't come from just one place, it's probably gonna be low quality. So this one's Argentina, Portugal, and Chile. So 10% California, four different places, probably a dog shit company. This one right here, made 100% from Italian olives. Doesn't mean that it all came from Italy. Who knows? Bartunanara. This one right here, Arbequina, extra virgin olive oil. Let's see where it's from. Doesn't even say. Doesn't even fucking say. God, I gotta stop swearing. So we're gonna figure things out right now. I'm gonna come back to you guys and let you know after this test if we've been bamboozled this whole time. I am just waking up from my nap. I'm pretty wrecked, super wrecked. And let's check on a couple things. Fridge. Dick. Uh, it does not look like anything solidifying. Huh. 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 I don't know what's going on. If you guys want to know how many BCAs I drink a day, I keep this next to my fridge at all times. Fill that thing up. Mix it up in here. I've drank one of these, one of these. Um, a Fit Aid. And I probably had three to five scoops of BCAs and I'm only halfway through the day. I will tell you, I do not take in much protein. This is my, my little like den of protein. I've had that golden way. We don't sell protein at Builder, but I, I basically, I've, I used to love them, but it makes me so farty and nasty. I can't do it. Serious mass, I'll have one to two scoops a day. There is protein in there. I'm testing out fuel. It's not the greatest. I'm just gonna be straight up with you guys. I don't wanna be a hater. Like I will test almost any product on the market and give them praise. This is Huel's Meals, and I wanted it to be great. It's just not. It's not. Like, it's, if we're doing one out of ten, I'm telling you, that's straight up like a five, two. And, uh, you know, the Huel down here, if we're going to look at this bad boy, you're getting 17 servings per container, and it's pretty expensive. It's a lot of fat, moderate amount of carbs, and some decent protein. This one right here... For about the same price, you're getting so much more, and you're getting only six grams of fat, you're getting 250 grams of carbs, and 50 grams of protein. <sighs> Huel, you just can't compete, bro. Sorry, B. Maybe you should try a little harder to get on the serious mass train, baby. All right, guys, I'm just finishing up a 15-minute easy bike ride, and my coach wants me to do a ramp test on the bicycle for the last, oof, I probably gotta restart this thing, um, for the last couple minutes, and I'm gonna do that right now. I only did the first 30 seconds, so we're gonna put this right here, and 
We're gonna show you guys what it takes to be a fucking savage. I'll be back. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hockey Talk Man is tuning in. We're at a minute and 15. I've got my one last hard minute, I gotta go. I'm starting to rank it up. Here she comes. Pray for me. Listen to Anya. Let's go, you little bitch. 125 pace. Show no fucking mercy. 120. Yeah! 30 seconds to go! Uh. Hold on! Ah! Oh, 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 yeah. oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, I'm coming for fucking blood, baby. <laughs> <laughs>